Now, joining us on the couch is one of our regular raucous kids, to borrow a phrase from our good friend Rove, uh, is Sasha Grant to talk all things internet. <laughs> Sasha, hello. Welcome. How are you going? Good. How are you? Good. You call me a kid now. This is that's frightening. I know. It's frightening. You're clinging on to those last <laughs> vestiges of youth. <laughs> you and I. That's anyway, it. Anyway, what have you got for us this week? Um, I've been surfing away. I found um, furniture porn. Now we've got to say that furniture porn was recommended to us by our new best friend Sorbs, the bass player from Nocturnal last that's week. It. And um, he's our new best friend as well because he wore an RMI TV t-shirt at the, uh, the Half Moon Festival. So he now gets an honorary crew mention in the credits because we're loving his work. <laughs> anyway, furniture porn, what's it like? Um, it's again, look very, very wrong because that's what we're here for, wrong <laughs> sites. Um, this is true. It's, it's all hot furniture porn action. Yep. Um, now, there's, there's lots of things. There's sort of the all amateur seating area. Okay, are we going to have a look at some graphics? Yes, we yep. are. Oh, okay. it's a furniture porn site. Now, of course, people can, uh, there's a link to this on our site. On the Rockus site, yeah, yep. at www.what.is slash Rockus. That's it. Cool. Okay, um, there's the bondage chair, which is the, we've got the all amateur, all amateur seating, we've got the bondage chair. Um, we've got the office party, and the focus that I had, or the section I went and had a look at, was the outdoor action with the, um, the hot gay lawn chairs. <laughs> the hot gay lawn hot chairs. Gay, yeah, slutting them around. How do we know around. that they're gay? They're the same. Oh, the same, of course. Well, that's right. it, yeah. It's not a deck chair in a lounge, is it? That's no. it. No, yeah. no, they're definitely right. the same. They're, um, yep, hot gay lounge chairs, and they get up to all sorts of antics and all sorts of positions. Um, now, I'm only going to show you a few of the photos because... Okay, um, I want to offend viewers. Well, no, it gives them yeah. something to look at because if I showed you all on the night, well, there's no point going to the site then, is there? That's it, yes. Yep, so there's lots of things to look at. Um, it's very, very wrong, very, very offensive. Oh, here we go. We've got some more, <laughs> more wrong and offensive stuff. That's it, up against the tree. Um, yeah, now, no, this look, makes it a bit hard, like if the pool pool cleaner was to turn up? It's more like the pool cleaning stick thing instead, wouldn't it be? That's it. Yeah. Yep. That, that would be a sort of a three-way action with a, yep. with a stick and that would be a whole new <laughs> website. We could, we could scoop even. That's the word I'm looking for. Pool scoop. Pool scoop. Mm. Or well, the filter maybe. That's it. Mm. You're getting very erotic there. And I just. Yes. Pool. Mm. Pool. Mm. Um, <laughs> and what's going on here? Can you please explain. <laughs> no. No. I'm not, I'm not even going to go there. I shouldn't have. Now, these are so. obviously consenting pieces of furniture. Well, that's of course, it. Yeah. That have been and people can enjoy these in their own home if they've got like mm -hmm. a CT or something. They can sort of start to position them around and, and take photos. Um, so look, there's going to be a trade in furniture porn, furniture porn, <laughs> going across the internet fairly soon, Excellent. and um, we're all going to be arrested and, and sort of locked away with with no chairs or tables or anything in our cells. That's it. Um, the second site. No, what yes. I've done? I've actually brought along some the bubble wrap. Thing. The real thing. The Look, real thing. Bubble, bubble wrap's great. Um, thanks to Australia Post, this stuff doesn't pop terribly well, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> it's great. We'll be getting a call from their lawyers soon. Thank that's you. it. Yeah, but yeah. it's only it's only thirty cents a sheet. But are you doing ads for Australia Post? Now? No, I'm not. No, okay, I'm, not. Good. I'm just trying to avert their lawyers. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, I found um, a couple. Of, I actually found three sites. This yep. is. Um, this is virtual bubble wrap on the internet. Now this one here, that's a game. Um, the whole idea is to see if you can get online and pop a million bubbles. A million. A million bubbles. And you just go page after page after page. And it gets harder and harder. Mm -hmm. The um, bubbles become more stubborn. You've got to press the mouse button on it more and more times to make them pop. So you're looking at potentially the rest of your life to pop that's a million it. bubbles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they want, you to, they want you to do that in one game. To sit down and just pop away. So, um, so I see people who are paid to work in offices can sit do there all day doing Yeah, this. that's exactly right. right. Like, you don't want to be on the phone doing boring stuff all day. Um, <laughs> God, no. No. And if you, if you head along to the Raucous website, there's actually three links because there's three, um, there's three websites that I found that all mm -hmm. have slightly different stuff. And there's like the original... The original, bubble, the original wrap bubble wrap site. Virtual bubble wrap site. That's it. And um, that's, so that's lots of fun. You can spend hours and hours and hours there. Like, oh, I just have solitaire on my laptop. I'm not that's quite that. No, you'll have to go get, have to get some bubble wrap on your I laptop. I will. Cool. I will. And the, um, the last site we've brought to you today is um, Bizarre Stuff You Can Make In Your Kitchen. So that's a site devoted to my cooking? That is. Yep. Yeah, bizarre Stuff You Can right. Make In Your Kitchen. Um, they tell you how to make, how to, how to grow mould and how to grow crystals and make rockets out of matchsticks and all sorts of crazy things. Useful things like that. That's it. Um, and they can, you can make a flubber out of Metamucil by just sort of microwaving stuff. And um, there's even one with a, with a pickle. You stick a couple of forks in a pickle and hook it up to your 240 volts. You fire it up and it glows green. It, it smokes and smells and it's really, really horrible and dangerous, but it glows. Cool. And they explain why. It's really, really cool. Well, Sasha, thank you for all that practical and That's useful okay. advice and our sites you've brought to us again this Fantastic. week. We will see you in a fortnight's time because we're having next week off. That's exactly but right. But you'll be back with more net stuff for us. Yep, but if anybody else has got any websites, um, they can come along to www.what.is.raucous 
email us and let me know and we can feature them in a couple of weeks' time. Alrighty, well stick around, we're going to a break now and coming back we'll be talking to Damien and Patrick from Motor Race. <laughs>